friends, welcome back to Frosty Eye Candy. Okay, so today we're going to do a blown out swipe on a 13 inch round. You've seen the pillow paint and you've seen pouring medium and cell activator in the pictures at the beginning, but I thought we'd go through the colours again. So, minimal palette this time. <gasps> Shock horror, Frosty, what's going on, right? Anyway, so first one we're going to be putting down is TLP, this little piggy. This one's called a Grenache. It's this beautiful, beautiful, deep, deep red colour. There you go, there's a good shot of it. Next, we are putting down for a great contrast this little piggy. This is Golden Peach. Let me just show you right up and nice close to the camera. Got this beautiful golden, golden sheen to it. And I found really, if you're going to use this little piggy, golden peach in your pour, you really don't need anything else that shimmers gold because um, this baby really packs a punch. Next we're going to be putting down a new one, a uh, new favourite of mine, this is Liquitex, this is the fluorescent opera pink. This one is semi-opaque as you can see there, the little square is half filled in. And then lastly we're putting down this. <laughs> this is TLP McCaw. This is a sample I received, very fortunately, in the mail. And uh, this is the last bit that I had. I'm going to hold it up to the camera. Hopefully you might be able to see. It's got this beautiful kind of green, blue, gold colour shift quality. It's fantastic. And this is going to be released really soon, I believe, just in the next few days. Okay then, my friends. That's enough of me chit-chatting, waffling on. I'm going to zip it. I'm going to point the camera down and we're going to put these beautiful colours on a canvas. Okay friends, I've put down a, the last bit of tricorn black colour to go that I have. This is one of my favourite pillow paints so let's hope this is a good one. So that's the Grenache going down first. Beautiful, lovely, deep, rich colour. And let's be generous with this. Next we're putting down the beautiful golden peach. Again, this little piggy. They make absolutely fantastic pigments. I love using them. I wish I was sponsored, I'm not, but uh, I highly, highly, highly recommend them. Next it's the uh, Opera Pink by Liquitex. of that, well through that I'm going to drizzle the last bit of the macaw that I have. I mixed it up, I was saving the last little bit of the piggy but I'm not sure if I uh, mixed it up a little uh, a little too weak. Not enough pigment in it. But I just want a little bit in the colours and now I just want to have a lovely billowing cloud effect from the macaw on the side there. Okay, so first of all we're going to blow out the macaw. That's looking great. Now I'm going to just blow the colours out over each other a little bit. Just blow them out this way now. Now 
That's looking great. Now just to get my palette knife that I'm going to swipe with and load her up with cell activator. And in we go my friends. Wow, that came out quite nice. I love the cells that are popping up here. I'm just going to help the cells uh, in the cell activator here by giving them a little blow. Now I'm just going to blow them, oh, we've got some gorgeous ghost cells just here going over the macaw. I'm just going to gently blow out that edge so we haven't got such a hard break. Excellent. Okay, now we're going to give it a gentle spin. I'm just going to tilt it just gently over this way a little bit because we definitely want to keep them a core and these beautiful cells that are happening here in the middle. Sadly, we're going to lose the bits at the edge more than likely, but uh, that's food art. I'm just going to blow this macaw out here. I hope it isn't a mistake. Excellent. Okay. So, my friends, let's give it a gentle spin. Okay, so uh, yes, she came out pretty good. <laughs> um, not too, uh, let me just look at it this way. Wow, yes. I'm not too fond of what's going on here. I'm really loving the stuff here. So I'm just gonna tilt it slightly. You see, we've still got a bit of movement there. I think I had pretty much the perfect amount of pillow paint. Uh, as you can see, we've got a little bit of excess around the edge, but it's helped the uh, piece actually grow beautifully. We've got some fantastic cells here, I can see, glimmering in the light from above me. So, let's just give it one more gentle skip spin. Remembering, guys, I've got my fingers on the edge of the board here, just catching this, this excess of paint. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm just going to clear up the edge of the paint guys. There we go my friends. So, I'm very happy with it. I hope you like what you're seeing. Please leave me a comment in the comment section. They're active. Uh, please like and subscribe to my channel. And you can also share this video to you and your friends if you like what you see here. And of course my friends, as always, happy pouring. <laughs>